let's get ready for chapter six. Chapter six. Chapter six is in the mix. Chapter six. What is chapter six about? Functions. And every now and then we're going to have to plug stuff into equations and that's why we're doing these problems. So let's just do it to it, baby. Uh, I have eight. <laughs> I do this all the time. I have eight. I have x minus y. What's x? Oh, x is five. So instead of x, put five. Five minus y. Well, instead of y, put two. Hamdas says, do everything inside the parentheses first. So five minus two is three. Drop down the eight. Eight times three is 24. That's how many hours are in a day. Now what? All right, usually what I should do, and I didn't do this in the last problem, and shame on me, is whenever I am plugging in a variable into a specific number, what I really should do is put parentheses there. So I'm gonna do that now. Instead of y, I have parentheses two. Instead of x, I have parentheses seven. And then divided by two just kind of comes along for the ride. PEMDAS says that you multiply divide left to right. So I'm gonna start going left to right. Two times seven is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Okay. Okay. Uh, n is 8, so I have 8 squared minus m, which is 7. 8 squared is 64, the best video game system known to man. Uh, minus 7 is going to be 57. It's 42 problems short of how many Jay-Z had. <laughs> Determine if each point is a solution. What does that mean? Well, that's a point right there, so you must be... Let me use different colors. You must be an X. And you must be a Y. So let me start plugging things in. Uh, let me replace y with 10, and 4 replace x with 2, plus 2. Hmm. Well, on the left side I have 10, on the right side I have 4 times 2, which is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. Oh, I get it. It looks like what I'm supposed to do is plug in my point into the x and the y value, and see if the left side matches up with the right side. And if it does, it's a yes. I guess I wonder what would happen if it doesn't. I don't know. Uh, you're an X, you're a Y. I'm going to rewrite this, but instead of Y, I'm going to put out 3. 6 minus, and instead of X, I'm going to put negative 3. Hmm. Well, 3 is 3 on the left. Double negatives become positives. Six plus three is nine. Three equals nine? That's not true. That's not true at all. No. So you're an X, but you're a Y. I'm going to replace X with seven, so two times seven plus five equals five. Well, I can tell you right now, this does not look like it's going to work out because two times seven is 14 and 14 plus five is not five. In fact, 14 plus five is 19 and 19 does not equal five. So that's another nosers. That's another no. That's very disappointing. Now, this is asking me, <laughs> Uh, this is asking me to fill out this chart based off of that equation right there. Get a y, get a point, and graph. So if my equation is y equals x plus 2 and x is 7, I could say 7 plus 2 
which is 9. And since my x value was 7 and my y value was 9, I have the point 7, 9. So let's write that out. 7 is right 7 up 9 there. Huh. Let's try it again. x is 4. So 4 plus 2 is 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. So when x was 4, y was 6. Write 4 up 6. Let's do it again. x is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. x was 0. y turned into 2. The point 0, 2 is don't move 2. So I have three dots there. And that's more than what I need to draw a nice, perfect straight line. And as you can see, there's my nice, perfect straight line right there. Hmm. I hope there's another. Let me move my face. Oh, look. Another. So let's do it again. Uh, I have the equation y equals x minus 3. I'm going to plug in 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So when x was 3, y turned into 0. 3, 0 means I go right 3, don't move. When x is 1, I write out 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So when x was 1, I got negative 2, which to graph that, I go right once and I go down 2, which is hard to see, but there it is. Ugh. x is negative 2, so I have negative 2 minus 3. Negative 2, take away 3, negative 5. Negative 2, negative 5. Go left 2, go down 5, put a dot. I have my three uh, dots. You can now draw a perfectly straight line through those three dots. And there you have it. You can now master chapter 6. You're welcome. Bye.